the Makeup Fiends and welcome to 13 Days of Horror. Today I'm going to show you what's in my special effects makeup kit, if you can call it that. I'm not professional by any means, but I do have a box of special effects makeup that I've collected over the past year and a half. Um, last year I did have some special effects makeup, but I wasn't able to do some of the tutorials I wanted to because I fell ill with the flu and I was quite poorly for a couple of weeks so I didn't get the chance to do it but this time round I have pre-recorded some of my videos and I have gathered some more special effects sort of makeup over the year. So I keep my special effects stuff in this tin which is a lovely Barbie tin. I got this from B&M and it had a cake in it, I think it was about 2 dollars and it's a really big tin, it's really deep. Um, so everything is in here. Now I got a special kit from Snazaroo that had the wax and spatula and little stipple and sponge and cake blood. It had quite a few different things in together and it came with this Snazaroo book. So this is a step-by-step -step special effects guide and it's got some sort of ideas of wounds but it's also got some like makeup sort of tips and yeah it doesn't really it's not exactly clear exactly how to do these um as such it just like kind of gives you a couple of photos i think they're a little difficult to follow but it does tell you what to use and things so it's it's quite interesting some quite interesting ones in there i haven't actually used it as yet but i might consult it um i've also got some snazzery sponges i didn't get them in that kit they actually came separate but i haven't used them yet these are for use with face paint um, so I will be using those in the next couple of tutorials, possibly. I've got these little shot glasses that I got in the sale last year. Halloween sale. I think it was 75 pence for four. I used two for nail art and I put two in this kit. I got the little stippling sort of sponge that was in this kit, in the Snazaroo kit. And then I got a cake blood. I actually purchased this separately because the cake blood that you got in the kit was very... Um, but that is the cake blood. This stuff is amazing, I love it, it's fantastic, it just looks so real. Um, so that is also by Snazaroom. I got all this stuff on eBay and I got it really cheap because I got it in the lead up to Halloween rather than Halloween itself. So a lot of this stuff was purchased in say February, March this year. Um, so it definitely made it a lot cheaper. From last year you would have seen this, this is Claire's powder. Um, it's basically just a pressed powder in white. And I used that last year, it's all a bit lucky. Then I have got the wax, this came in the Snazaroo kit. It's special effects wax by Snazaroo. And as you can see, I've used a good shot. I've got three Snazaroo face paints. I have got black, which I haven't actually used. I have got complexion pink, and I've actually used this one. I used this one and I mixed it with light gray. And they're just activated with water. You can't use them neat, it's not very good for your skin. Sorry, I'm having a good old root in there. Then I've got two more face paints and these are by Smithies and I got these from Asda online and had them delivered to store so they were free of charge delivery. Um, I've got white and I've got green and I'm going to use these two together to do another look. I've got makeup sponges. I have two bags. This one is quite an unusual bag. I can't remember where I got it um, but the brand is Allura. I think I got it in a cheap shop. But it's got some really unusual ones. Look at this one. Right, it's funny. And then it's got like little cylinders. Very strange. Little crescents. But they have come in quite useful and I've already used some of those. Um, also in here I've got a Meron bruise wheel. This was $11.99 off eBay. I remember that. And this is just cream makeup that's really useful for doing sort of bruises and special sort of wound effects. I've got um, the Stargazer wet palette in here dry wet palette wet cover color palette so these are actually water activated face paints as well and I got that on eBay and that cost me $1.99 would you believe it considering it's about £18 on their website I have a liquid latex which I haven't used yet I have a tattoo a spider not a, not a tattoo a stencil a spider stencil which I may use this year I haven't quite decided yet but that was from Claire's accessories and it was a pound in the sale I also have Graftorbian Magic Blood Powder. This is a lovely little dusting powder. I think this was £11 as well, including postage. I'm not going to go too much into this exactly and what it does, because you're going to see that in an upcoming tutorial. Um, but it's really clever stuff. Then I've got this brush roll in here that I got some MAC brushes in. And it did have more brushes in, but I used them in a video, so um, they're actually drying. So that's got... Um, 
some old brushes in that I don't mind if they get ruined with the, what paint I'm using. Um, if you wash them straight away, particularly with like the Sanzaro paints, you're okay. But using them with like liquid latex and things like that and blood, you are running risk of staining and ruining the brushes. So I would recommend that you use cheaper brushes when you're putting on this kind of special effects makeup. And I've also got some um, Sanzaro paint brushes, which are the yellow handled ones in there for smaller detailing. I have another packet of sponges but these are all the same sort of shape. These ones are from Boots. I actually use them for nail art but I've popped them in here because um, I've actually been using some of them. They're actually a lot better quality than the Allura ones. They just seem to be a lot denser because some of the Allura ones are very soft and quite thin so you do sometimes need like a bit more of a firmer touch. Then in here I've got my red um, food colouring and the last thing in here, the last couple of things are, got some blood. These are from Snazaroo again. We've got them both in dark red. This one is Theatre Blood. The Theatre Blood is runnier. You'll not be able to see, but it's a really quite nice dark red colour. And then the Gel Blood is like really gloopy. I was a bit concerned because I wasn't sure how this was going to be, but it's incredibly thick and it looks really good on wounds. And then the last two things in here from Cryolin. I've got two rainbow circles. This one is the burned skin circle. It's got some really great colours and lines as you can see. I've already started using that one. And then I've got the bruised skin. Yeah, This one's the black eyes, sorry. And again, I've been using that one. But I got them both because there was colours in both of them that I wanted to get, so they're really quite useful. And that's it! That's everything in my special effects makeup kit. Uh, you should be seeing quite a bit of this being used in the rest of the series. I've got quite a few um, tutorials coming up that do have some of these elements in them, so I hope you'll enjoy that. Um, oh, that's the liquid latex dust and powder, because liquid latex is shiny when you apply it, and if you use the dust and powder, it gives it a matte finishing, makes it blend into your skin better. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to love and leave you and see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>